with story time from the Pflugerville Public Library. Are you ready? Let's begin. We're going to start with our welcome song. Remember, we use some sign language. More, together, happy, and friends. All right, let's begin. Oh, the more we get together, together, together. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Oh, the more we get together, together, together. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Yay! All right, friends, our first book today is by Doreen Cronin and Betsy Lewin, and it's Click Clack Boo, A Tricky Treat. And we're reading it today with kind permission of Simon & Schuster Books. Farmer Brown does not like Halloween. Witches give him nightmares. Pirates give him shivers. Jack-o'-lanterns flicker spooky shadows on the wall. Farmer Brown leaves a bowl of candy on the porch. He puts up a do not disturb sign. He draws the shades and locks the door. But in the barn, the Halloween party has just begun. Oh, look, there's even prizes for the most candy eaten, the scariest boo, the loudest scream, the best costume. There's a crunch, crunch, crunching as the mice scurry across the field. There's a creak, creak, creaking as the sheep slowly push open the barn door. There is a tap, tap, tapping, and the cows go to the window to let the cats in. Farmer Brown does not like the sounds of Halloween night. He checks the lock on the door. He peeks through the window. There is a dark creature standing beneath the trees. Farmer Brown runs to his room, pulls on his pajamas, and climbs under the covers. He hears the crunch, crunch, crunching of leafy footsteps heading toward the house. There is a creak, creak, creaking on the old boards of the front porch. Then a tap, tap, tapping on the front door. Farmer Brown pulls up his covers tight. He hears a quack, quack, quacking in the crisp night air. Quackle? The porch is empty. The candy bowl is gone. There's a new note on Farmer Brown's door. Halloween party at the barn. Farmer Brown runs to the barn. There is a creak, creak, creaking on the old boards of the front porch and a crunch, crunch, crunching of leafy footsteps heading toward the barn. There is a tap, tap, tapping on the window. Best costume! <gasps> Happy Halloween! Farmer Brown won best costume! <laughs> All right, friends, since it's Halloween time, we're gonna sing a version of your, if you're happy or you know it, but it's gonna be if you're scary and you know it. You ready? If you're scary and you know it, clap your hands. If you're scary and you know it, clap your hands. 
If you're scary and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're scary and you know it, clap your hands. If you're spooky and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're spooky and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're spooky and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're spooky and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're creepy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're creepy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're creepy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're creepy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're spooky and you know it, do all three. If you're creepy and you know it, do all three. <laughs> Hooray! If you're scary and you know it, then your face will really show it. If you're scary and you know it, do all three. <laughs> Hooray! All right, friends, let's share a fun fall rhyme. All right, this one's got some actions to it, so join me if you can. Pumpkin, pumpkin, big and round. Sitting on the cold, hard ground. Soon I'll pick you off the vine. Give you a name and make you mine. Carve a face for all to see. Add a candle for Halloween glee. All right, friends, our next book today is called Skelly's Halloween by David Martin and illustrated by Lori Richmond, and is read today with kind permission of Macmillan Children's Press. Snap my fingers and rattle my bones. It's Halloween, said Skelly Bones Skeleton, and he danced around the room singing, Head and shoulders, knees and toes, trick or treating, here we goes. But Skelly had been sleeping all year because that's what skeletons do when it's not Halloween. So he had to think fast and make a costume. I don't want to be a witch again. I kept falling off my broomstick. And when I was a monster, I was so scared I had to hide from myself. And then I didn't get any candy. I know, I'll be a ghost. He grabbed a sheet off his bed and as fast as his bony fingers could cut and sew, Skelly made a ghost costume. Hot diggity, I am one beautiful ghost. But guess what? When Skelly stepped outside, the wind swept him up into the air and flew him like a kite. <gasps> he twirled, he flipped, he spun until, oh no, the wind stopped and Skelly fell down, down, down. Crash. Luckily, when Skelly hit the ground, he didn't break any bones, but he sure was in pieces. Legs, ribs, arms, fingers, toes, and all the bones in between were scattered here, there, everywhere. Oh my, how am I going to get put back together in time to go trick-or-treating, said Skelly. Just then, a snake slithered by. Snake, I'm so glad to see you, said Skelly. I need help, can you give me a hand? A hand? That's a joke, yes, said Snake. But I can help. And bone by bone, he attached this bone to that bone and that bone to this bone. When Snake was done, Skelly looked at himself all the way down to the tip of his tail. Wait a minute, I'm not supposed to have a tail. Thank you, Snake, but this isn't me. Sorry, Skelly, said Snake. We'll fix you, said an ant. And like a construction team, the whole ant colony got to work. Thanks, said Skelly, but I can't walk with six legs. I keep tripping. I'm a two-legged skeleton. We don't understand how we walk with so many legs either, said an ant. I've got two legs. Let me help, said a chicken. Oh, brother. Now I look like I'm supposed to lay an egg, said Skelly, who was so upset. 
He collapsed into a pile of bones. I'm like Humpty Dumpty, he sighed. No one can put me together again. No more running. No more dancing. No more trick-or-treating. Just then, some children found Skelly. Look, whispered the chef. Bones, real bones. Let's get out of here. Wait, said Skelly. And they talk? Run, shouted the pirate. Don't go, please, I need help, said Skelly. I'm not just a pile of bones. I'm a walking, talking, trick-or-treating Halloween skeleton. What happened, asked the pirate. It's a long story. Can you help me put, help put me back together the right way? That's easy, we'll make you look just like me. I'm a walking, talking, trick-or-treating skeleton too, said the girl dressed like a skeleton. Soon, Skelly was Skelly again. Click my heels and rattle my bones, he said. I feel like my old self. I can run, I can jump. And you can go trick-or-treating, said the chef. I can indeed, and I know the best places, said Skelly. Come on, everyone, it's Halloween. And you know what I always say. Sure, they shouted. Trick or treat, smell our feet. Give us something good to eat. Exactly, let's go, said Skelly. The end. All right, friends. If you registered for our Storytime Craft Kit, today's the day when you can put together your candy corn crow ornament just in time for Halloween. And we have a special announcement. On Halloween, that's October 31st, from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m., you can drive through the Pflugerville Public Library parking lot in your costume and stay in your car for some safe trick-or-treating. Check the library's website for more information. Okay, friends, time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon. See you soon, see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon on another day. Bye friends, happy Halloween.